Hello and welcome Bandwagon Blue Shirts episode number three. Episode two didn't air. Jake and Joe's diehard Rangers fans did record, uh, but I was I was dying of sickness and I watched it. Of course, I watched it, obviously. It was a dud. It's boring. Hurricanes what? try to come to New York. Last time that happened, turned into a superstorm. Hurricanes can't make it up here, Jake. They just turn weak. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> you like, I like that? that. All the right. buildings shut them down. The buildings. Yeah. MSG. Yeah. We had jetties ready. Break up the waves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love that. I think we should use that. I love that like a lot. All right. Uh, yep. Good Joe's job. Good. Yeah, good job. Um, <clears throat> I was watching the game while I was watching the Yankee game too, for sure. And um, Igor, man, that's the first guy I want to talk about. That guy is like... The, the goalie. Yes, 43 on 44. That's like a phenomenal percentage. He was nasty. 43 shots. And the goal was like an odd one. It was like... It I'm, was. Sure, I'm sure Jake's sitting there kind of mad at him for not going 44-44. You know, he's the toughest Igor critic on the show. And he hates him. I think 44 out of 44 was easy, but didn't hurt us. I thought I thought they might go to Gorgiev uh, after that, but they they stuck with the Igor. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? Let's up, go, man. Yankees. Up, go Yankees. Let's do it. Bounce back. It's a Rangers. Man. It's a Rangers <laughs> podcast, though. Um, Joe's, it's just a Rangers podcast. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm at the stadium. What do you want me to do? Like, I... Um, I mean, if you want to ask someone oh. their thoughts on the Rangers, you can. But I'm I'm glad the series I'm glad the series officially started. Um, you know, those first kind of two games were just malarkey, for lack of a better term. And the tropical the tropical storm showed up today. Um, that's the team that I've been expecting. They can't handle the city. They can't handle the garden. Um, and like Joe's hammered home uh, in the first episode of bandwagon blue shirts even though we're not really bandwagon fans um is that uh carolina like barely won those two games and we basically won three nothing today like you're talking about with the fluke goal so um it feels like the rangers are dominating this series yeah well this game kind of felt like the canes were multiple hurricanes not just one which always uh throws me for mm -hmm. a loop uh they played better but the this everything is coming down to power plays, you know, special teams. The Rangers gave up a shorty last game. They get the power pl play goal this game. They had 35 giveaways, the Rangers, Jake. You were texting us. Like, that's way too many giveaways. Like, you can't be giving away the puck that much, and I agreed with you. You just can't be giving away the pucks that, that much, and I, I think that's something to watch for for game four, but I think we'll talk about that on the game four bandwagon blue shirts. Uh, for now, I mean, it's, it's celebrate, like it's gotta be Kreider, you know, it's gotta be Kreider and it was Kreider. And, and I think that's impactful for the rest of the series. Um, and we won, which was, we needed that uh, three Oh would have been tough. I mean, I still think this team would have done it, but three Oh would have been just tougher because then it would have been seven and we need to win game six in the guard and then the series. Yes, that's true. Uh, Jake, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> They changed up the lines, Joe's. You were talking a lot about that. The kids, the kids, everyone's talking about how the kids were so fast and everyone else looked so slow, so they spread the kids out. They had Heedle between Kreider. Just ask that guy, Joe's, what he thinks about the new line. They put Heedle between Kreider and Zibby, which I thought helped raise the speed of that total line. They net two goals, Zibby with the real nice shot, uh, Kreider, absolutely sniped his goal and then and then Kako his line was all right but you know the bread man he just doesn't look right and his line I don't know what they're going to do there so I don't know what they do with the lines but I like the Kreider Zibby Heedle they look good sorry my, my internet was cutting in and out so I'm sorry about that um Listen, I mean, it's good. You know, sometimes you got to mix it up a little bit. You know, sometimes it changes up a lot. So that's that's good. And I thought the Rangers got really lucky on one, where it's like, the Eagles got like flipped. 
on the on the ice a little bit, and they had like a wide open net, and they just cleared it out of there, bro. It was just like, oh, ooh, I thought that was gonna go in. Um, it didn't, so that's that's good to see. But um, sometimes you gotta be lucky too. What do they call it? Puck luck. Puck luck. Puck luck. Yeah. Puck luck. I like I like mixing up the kids. You know, I think Ma had been our best forward this series. Um, but, you know, after today, you know, we it was just a better all-around effort. And, again, at the end of the day, um, you got – you need to win – you need to win four games to win a best-of-seven series. They won one of those four games today. I wish they didn't suck at face-offs, man. This was, like, their best face-off game ever, and it was – 45 percent which is decent for them but that's like a big part of possession and they just stink at them i just i just think at this point in the season that's not going to change so we just need to strategically you know uh, kind of plan on losing the face off and what are we doing there like you know when you do a tip off in basketball and you basically know that your guy's going to lose but then you flank around and you're there. Like we just, that's got to be our brand of basketball hockey. Yeah. Okay. And then the big thing at the end, Joe's uh, Domi going after Lindgren, a little cross check to the back after time expires. Bullshit, huh? You're muted, but everything you're saying sounds great. Yeah. Um, why be a sore loser, bro? I hate that. Like what's going on? Um, don't really like any of that. So, I'm just, I don't know. Well, what happens there? Do people get penalties at the end of the game? Like, is that possible or no? No, I, no, I don't think so. He just has to kind of like sit in it and be, you know, a sore loser. I, I had like, uh, I thought like maybe the newspapers will say like, uh, uh, lose, lose it, lose and be rude. The Max Domi story. Yes. Yeah, that's a good headline. Yeah, thanks. Um, no, no, what I really liked, I liked, uh, I liked that we scored an empty netter. Um, I, I just that. think for those, for those final seconds, letting the Rangers be on the ice, knowing what they've achieved, being able to appreciate that, I, I think that's going to feel good, and I. I'm expecting next game for them to come out in a dominant first period. Because, you know, again, the nerves going into today, if it's down 3-0, you know you have to win in seven. That's out. That's gone. That's that's no longer. They're on the ice. They're feeling good. And they, you know, at the Garden right now, I mean, these guys are invincible. No, they are. And then they don't really win. They don't really win on the uh... Uh, on the road, so it's good. I will say this. How much time do we have left? We have a lot of time left. We got a uh, minute, minute 45. Good. We got to show some love to the defense, man. Show some love to the defense. These guys can score. They know how to score in terms of the Hurricanes and the Rangers. It's like kind of like shutting them out, bro. Like, what is that? Four goals if you don't count the empty netter in three games. It's pretty good, right? No? Pretty good. I, pretty good. I think the Rangers should shoot more. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Most shots this game was, uh, you know, Heedle, Kreider, and Zibby, the top line. They all had four shots each, and that's the most. Shoot more. Yeah. No, I, Joe's, Joe's is right. I mean, you know, we've been given Fox, everyone's new favorite player, uh, his love. Uh, Truba has been leading uh, the playoffs and hits, you know, kind of kind of leaving his mark on the playoffs so far. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, throw, it's it's puck luck. It's puck luck. It's puck luck. Throw it at the net. Make plays hard. Tropical storms. Goes. Are you gonna check the security right now? What do you think about the Rangers? What do you think about the Rangers? They're good. All right, that's what she said. <laughs> I agree. Yes, she said they're good. And, Let's and, go, Rangers. 
three, two, one. Cup is here. Shit.